Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to a new series of Civilization 6, uh, another attempt at a deity game. If you haven't watched my previous attempt, maybe you want to watch that one first, uh, because I'm going to be giving a couple of spoilers uh, in this video. So it should be pretty obvious by the fact that I'm making another attempt that I failed the first one. And here's the big spoiler, I lost by one single turn. Um, literally, Shaka beat me to the uh, scientific victory by one turn, and in fact, in, in, if you know how the scientific victory works, in the uh, number of light years you have to get your spacecraft to travel, uh, I was at 49 and he hit 50, so I was less than a turn away uh, from winning that. Um, I made lots of little mistakes in that previous game. Lots of little things that if I'd have done differently, I would have probably won. Uh, but there are three main takeaways from it, three big mistakes that if I can avoid, I should be able to do it. And those three things were basically, one, I need to expand more aggressively uh, and earlier. I didn't really do that in the last game, and I ended up sort of thinking, well, I can just take another city from my neighbor, which never really happened. And then I ended up getting sort of boxed in on all sides. I had a very small civilization. I did eventually find some nice islands and settled a couple of extra cities. Um... Which did help, but if I'd have done that 50 turns earlier, it might have been a easy win. Secondly, I shouldn't neglect my economy. Even playing as Portugal, which I am again here, and I'll go back in, uh, into that in a moment. Playing as Portugal in the last deity game, I was struggling to bring in 500 gold a turn, yet the previous game to that on Immortal, I was bringing in more than double that. And that is extra gold that I could have... Um, spent on production buildings or research buildings and that might have bought me the one extra turn that I needed to win the game and I think also that was partially because I didn't have as many cities and I didn't have as many coastal cities so my trade route options were limited and thirdly I don't need to go to war in deity to win I know in civilization 6 it's always been easier to get a win by going to war um, simply because you uh, can slow the AI down by attacking them and taking things from them. But I only had two wars on that previous game, both against Chaka. I didn't take anything from him. I didn't lose anything to him apart from a handful of units. And if I hadn't have lost those units, I wouldn't have spent gold or, and or production replacing them, which means I might have, again, saved that one turn and won the game. So those are the three main things I want to try and do differently here. I am still playing as Portugal. I absolutely love them. They're a fantastic civilization. They're one of my favorites. And I also think they're one of the strongest because I like the economy game. And uh, I think they are my best chance of winning at the moment. I also think it's important to get a good start. This is a completely new map, so it's a different seed. Um, it's still got ex all the same settings from the previous game. Uh, of course, we may... Well, we most likely end up facing against different civilizations, although some of the same ones may still be in there. Uh, but I think having a good start is important, especially for me. I'm not one of those players who is good enough to be able to take any scenario and turn it into a win. Uh, you've got people like Marbazir who, you, you know, whatever crappy hand he's dealt, somehow he manages to turn it into a win on Deity. I am not there yet. So this is where it has started me. Um, not coastal, I'd like to point out. Um, it's a little bit annoying. This is like a looks like a lake or an inland sea, I'm, and I'm really convinced that I should just move and settle over here. I don't normally like moving the settler on turn one. That's given us a boost to foreign trade, though. That was nice. I don't normally like moving the settler on turn one simply for the fact that you know the AI already starts with a head start on deity, and losing out on a couple of turns by moving your settler from that initial starting position, I think, is a, is a real risk. I'm now actually thinking what I may want to do is settle here. Simply because it'd be faster. If I move here, I'm not going to be able to settle on this turn. If I move here, I can settle on this turn. So I think this is a good enough tile to do it on. So we're going to settle down here. So there we go. We have Lisbon. Uh, let us pick up animal husbandry. I think we do want to know where the horses are before we settle our second city. Uh, we'll definitely want to get a scout. And we'll have a look, a, a bit of a look around with the warrior. So we're playing on Deity. This is a splintered fractal map, the same as before. Uh, the map is on standard size. Remember, the default size is small, which is six civilizations. I always play on standard, which is eight civilizations, but then remove two civilizations to put it back down to six. 
The reason I do that is because it, it spreads the civilizations out a little bit more and you don't start as close together. And I think that's quite important on these higher difficulty levels because the on um, on Deity, the AI starts with three settlers. So it's three settlers, I think um, a scout, five warriors and a couple of workers or something, a couple of builders. It's quite unfair, really. Um, let's get out of Slinger just so we've got some military power and just in case we do get attacked by barbarians. We'll keep looking around because we do want to find these goody huts. Now, there is a bit of desert up to the north, which might mean we're towards the bottom of the map. But we'll keep looking around, maybe find some wonders. Yeah, let's get that goody hut. That's given me 40 gold. Not amazingly useful at this point, but hey, we might want to buy a tile. I'm going to go this way with him. This could be a good spot for another city. We've got some floodplains next to a river. Get the scout to have a look around up here. We've got some mountains. If there are no dogs in And heaven. there's animal husbandry. No horses spotted yet. There are none nearby. There is there are some down here, so again, a city here could be useful, though we'd want coastal. That would be in range of the horses. So there is already a potential spot here for a new city. So let's just mark that as a as a potential. Uh let's go in for mining we do have some stone close by to our capital so that makes sense let's have a look up here yeah double wheat this is almost certainly going to be on our next city spot if we can get it before anybody else does uh let's just keep and spices yeah this is going to be a good one uh do i want to keep the warrior over here and move the scout back up this way i think i probably do get that slinger out as soon as possible just so we don't have to worry too much about barbarians uh, so we have finished the slinger. Let's go ahead and just get a monument. Because I really neglected culture in the last game as well. Now, culture wasn't too big of a deal. But of course, if I'd have got some social policies a little bit faster, again, that might have saved me a turn. So, try and find some more goody huts. Now, with this being Splintered Fractal, we might be completely alone on this, this island. Uh, well, we have found a city-state. I uh, don't mind that. It's a scientific city-state as well, so that's always good. And another goody hut. And yeah, it looks like this might be a relatively isolated start. It is not wisdom, but which can be a mixed blessing. Um, let's go for... Well, we haven't found any barbarians yet, but you do tend to run into them at some point in the early game. So might as well have that on. So yeah, let's look down here. Uh, let's go for foreign trade. I mean, it's boosted, so that makes sense, right? And then we'll have a look and see if we can go over here. So yeah, this is the end of the land there. So this might be a good start. Obviously, we will have to go and think about looking sort of off the main island if we want a better start. Oh, produced a great work. That's interesting. It's not very often I get those from a, a goody hut in the early game, but we'll take it. Who deserves more There's credit? mining done. And let's go and have a look at this little bit down here, see if that's the bottom of the map. So with mining done, yeah, let's get sailing. We definitely need fishing boats, and we need to go and do some coastal exploration, so we'll work on that. There's a barbarian camp. Well, we did expect to find at least one of them somewhere. Let's keep looking around down here. But this land might be connected up to something else, actually. No, it isn't, but we've got silk, we've got turtles. Yeah, this is going to be a couple of good city spots over here. I think potentially... We could get one over here as well. Yeah, this island, we're going to have a lot of cities on here, I think. There's another goody hut. So we'll work our way over to that. Now, you're fighting what looks like a militaristic city-state over there. That's fine. We've already got housing problems because we don't have any fresh water. I'm going to move this warrior up here just to see if this is connected to anything. And I think that's about it in terms of our own land. So there's the monument done. What tiles are we working? We are working food tiles. Uh, we can choose a pantheon already. That's quite nice and early. I'm not sure whether I'm going to go heavy on holy sites or wonders. Marsh oases and desert floodplains. I mean, we do have some marshes here. So we could get some production on those oases we don't really have there are some floodplains here are these desert floodplains 
No, they're just they're planes. Production from fishing boats could be useful as well. There are a lot of coast uh, of uh, sea resources here. So yeah, God of the Sea, I think, is going to be a really good one for us, especially as most of our cities intend to be um, coastal. Uh, so that's given us a boost towards mysticism. Now we could go ahead and get a little uh, get a settler out here, but it's going to be a long term long time before we get up to population four. So maybe we want to just get a builder out first, and then I'll get a settler. Let's go ahead and get that. I mean, that could even be plus one population. It'd be nice if it is. And it actually isn't. It is Beowulf. Do we want Beowulf? Uh, ignores movement penalties in Hills Terrain. Target an adjacent enemy with combat strength less than his. He immediately destroys the target. Not necessarily that useful for me straight away, to be honest. Um, I don't think that's, that is really all that useful to me because, again, I'm on a, an isolated... Or what seems to be a relatively isolated island. There, are, there is some land close by, so we do have some potential to expand. So let's go and check all this and just check the coastal borders. Can't go that way, so let's go around here. Another goody hook. This again could potentially be a good spot. It is close to the city-state, but double wheat, floodplains, rivers, mountains... Not sure what else is up is here. They're the sailing them and trade. foreign trade. I do want to build a naval unit. We don't need the faith anymore. We don't have any trade routes yet. Let's go for that. Production in all cities. Is the plus one production going to be more useful for us right now? I think possibly. So let's get you over here so you can check that out. Let's get pottery. Because it's a little overdue. I don't think we necessarily need to do mysticism. Although it's no bad thing to get it and, it and it is boosted. So we do have a trade route. We just don't have anyone we can trade with yet. So we haven't found any civilizations, which is good. Because I think my last game, I started right next to some. There's some barbarians. And they've got a galley there. Kind of wish I hadn't have removed that thing now. Uh, 20 faith. All right. Almost tempted now to move out with that slinger to help and get the boost with archery. It's going to take him a long time to get there, so I don't think I'll bother. So there's the builder. Let's go and get the crab. Uh, that's a galley, which I think is melee only. So if I fortify you, you should be okay. Now, do I want to go straight in? Four turns to get a galley. We've we've actually picked up a civic to let us get that faster. Can I get you on this turn? No, I can't. We want to go and get that goody hut as well. So let's make sure that we do. Not too bothered about the... Uh, gained a recon unit. Okay, and you got a promotion. Um, there aren't m many places for you to go, but I guess we'll send you up in the same sort of direction. So yeah, this would be a major defeat. We'll give it a go. We can always fortify up on the next turn. Uh, let's get you over here onto the stone. Will be nice to get the boost to archery, but I just think it'll take us too long to get there. So we'll fortify you up. Be nice to get Sinbad now. So there's a warrior. Let's go and just kill off the scout. Nice. So yeah, this could be a good spot here. And there we go. We actually have a galley. No man ever wetted clay. And there's pottery done. And that galley gives us a uh, some era score, which is really nice. You get a promotion. And probably more hills than anything else. We're still having problems with our population. Uh, let's go ahead and get writing. We're going to try and get ourselves a campus as soon as possible. So, Granary or Settler? I'd like both, but I think I'm going to go for... Ugh, I, don't, I don't really want to lose the population. But it's going to be a while before we get Magnus and Provision. Let's just get the Settler, get a second city. I think that's important. We're playing on Deity. The AI's already got three cities by now, so let's get something done about that. And then let's start getting stuff where we can. That gives us a boost to masonry. 
Let's have a quick look and see what tiles I'm working here. So, one production gold. Yeah, that's fine. Um, probably want to do the cattle next. And we'll need to get a new, uh, a new builder out then. The natural history we found the Galapagos. Now that's remarkable. nice because that's plus two science. That gives us Mulan if we want her and a boost to astrology. So yeah, that's nice. Maybe there's a city we can get over here. Definitely worth keeping our eye on. Um, now we know there's a barbarian camp somewhere up around here, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Signet and we found a 250 Signet. 250 square mile tiger trap. And that gives us Hippolyta. Now that is probably a little bit too far away that we're going to settle up here. Well, we might settle here. I don't know. It's not my instant uh, thoughts on that one. This will still be a major defeat, but I'm sure we can clear this barbarian camp out. Because all of these galleys are going to be annoying. So we'll get that. That helps with the housing situation. Gives us a boost to craftsmanship and horseback riding. That would allow us to work one that gives us more food as well yeah population growth is just slow but the, the housing is the main issue here so yeah we'll explore around with the galley there's another island over there we might be able to use oh wow Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one well there's mysticism done i'm going to go back up and pick discipline up because we don't need that rubbish happening again so let's confirm those policies so i lost my warrior that was unfortunate I am going to spend the money and just, um, I can buy one, it's just because my slinger's in the way. I'm going to use some money and straight up buy a replacement warrior there. Uh, let's work on craftsmanship and keep sending envoys to, um, is it Mitfla? So that gives us some era score. Um, yeah, Mitla. Uh, so the only modes I'm playing with are the... Um, monopolies, uh, corporations and monopolies, and the uh, heroes and legends. Well, that's kind of the end of the map there for you. So our other scout is getting a little bit sort of redundant at this point. Well, I do want to check this island out because we might be able to settle here somewhere. I'm using this guy just to keep try and keep a track of what those barbarians are doing and stop any other barbarians that might try and spawn. And we might as well, as we've got to walk over there with the warrior anyway, we might as well go over there with the slinger as well. Uh, there is a goody hut. We can't get over there. Well, no, we can technically get over there. I don't know how this land is. Oh, he thinks he can get over here, I think. I think that's the problem. I think he thinks the land is linked and it isn't. If I do that and it shows, then he'll he'll probably then cancel his movement. So you're going to move over here. Yep, yeah, we'll start heading across. Meta civilization, Scotland. Robert Bruce. Okay, so we met Scotland. Now we've got somebody we can potentially trade with. He is coastal. He's got coastal city as well. And we've got two... Tra Do we have any, any available trade routes? No. So, not to worry too much about that right now. Yeah, I'd love you to move further over there, but you can't. Looks like there's a little inland sea there, possibly. Writing is easy. There's writing done. Excellent. Let's have a look around here. Choose our next research. I'm going to go for masonry because I think we'll end up um, getting the archery boost by going this way. I don't know where my scout thinks he's going, but he's still trying to get over there. Oh, you think you can go all around the top of the map, do you? Um, yeah, I don't think you can, buddy. But maybe we just leave you down here somewhere. Uh, choose a research. I really want to get a campus. We can get a plus two if we go here. 
Five turns until border growth. So we could save the money and instead of the campus just get the granary. So let's do that. So we've got this settler. This settler is going to settle over here. It should be free from barbarians, but we can check with these units as we, we move across. I guess I can use you to have a look. Yeah, there's a lot of barbarian units up here. There must be a barbarian camp up there for sure. And just do as much scouting as I can with this galley. Craftsmanship. There's craftsmanship done. Ilkum could be useful. We definitely need to get some more builders. I'd only be losing one production in the city for now, so that's fine. Let's go for state workforce so we can start getting governor titles. That'll be useful for us when we want to start pumping out um, more settlers. Okay, so there are no barbarians down here where we want to settle. That is good. Another hero discovered. Yeah, now I'm getting attacked by the barbarians up here, which I kind of figured might happen. I, I'm probably not going to get out of that, but we'll see. Let's start exploring as much of the coastline as possible. And start moving you around here. Where's that settler? You're taking an incredibly long time to get there, but you should still get there. Yep, yeah, and I lost a scout. It's unfortunate, but I think, to be fair, uh, the scout had kind of outlived his usefulness anyway at this point. So I'm not overly... And it was a free scout. I mean, that wasn't the one I got for free, but, you know, we got a free scout anyway, so... Not a big concern. Somebody's built Stonehenge. Ah, oh, now we've got flipping galleys here. We have some money. We can purchase a slinger. So let's just get another one. Makes sense to have one. These galleys are going to start bothering me. Come on, get over there. Be quicker. So I definitely need to get some more builders out. I could go down there and fight him with my galley, of course. And I, I probably will end up going in that direction. Yeah, so there's a galley. They've got a lot here. I can't do anything against that galley on this turn. The other galley's disappeared off, so that's fine. Yeah, you just sit around here until we can embark with you. And let's go this way around the coast. All right, I'll be in a we are being attacked by these galleys now. So let's move you out of here. Start moving around with this warrior. Go this way down. Now you're attacking my warrior. Fine. Start moving you up this way. It's a long trip. These galleys don't move very far very quickly. And yes, we'll settle our next city here. That gives us another era score. And what do we want to do here? Let's go for the monument first. We will need builders. It were we as pairs to keep it. Not too sure what his issue is. We've got amenity problems. Now, can I beat you? No, it'd be a minor victory. I mean, I could get right next to them. You need to heal up. And we'll get you to heal up as well. Should be fine. And we'll start working our way around with you. Shame we don't have Sinbad yet. Sinbad would be really good here. Yeah, you're taking a lot of hits that I'd prefer you weren't. So let's back up with you. And we'll still keep trying to build the slinger up. We can get rid of this push pin now. We don't need that. So, Lisbon, do we have any trade routes available to us yet? Yes, we do. So it might be worth getting. I still want that campus, though. And we do have that tile. Let's get the campus first, then we'll do trade routes. So start getting around with this galley. Each of us is carving There's a masonry. We could go for astrology. 
I mean, it is boosted. We'll have to, we'll have to do it at some point. So might as well do it while it's got a boost on there. Uh, uh, Middle has got a lot of units there. Now then, is this slinger strong enough to take these guys out? I mean, not completely. But a reasonable bit. Of course, the quadrine could kill him. But it's worth the risk because I'd like to get the boost for archery. Let's keep our eye on it. Yeah, I thought he was going to come in and attack with, with those. That was, was annoying, but not unexpected. I was just trying to uh, see if I could defeat it with a slinger. Uh, in order to try and get the um, the boost for archery, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we're in the new age. Let's go for free inquiry. So we lost a unit. We'll get it back. Uh, that galley's now back over here. Now, we haven't improved the tile at this point, so it's not going to make a huge difference. Next to no damage there at all. Uh, we need to get another builder. We need to get trade routes. Yeah, that galley's starting to back off now. That's a boost to early empire. Now then, can I... I think I just want to get him at full health before I go over there and start doing that. We've definitely got some immunity problems. The slinger's going to stay here. And nicely the galley's come back. I'm a Sagittarius. So... He's also put himself right adjacent to us, so we've got that um, major victory. So we've got that bonus for uh, flanking him. I think we just go and get irrigation at this point. So we can start sorting some amenities out. To have a happy Do we want to change anything here? I haven't built any builders yet. I think I'm just going to leave that as it is. I can't reach you this turn. Let's put you here and heal up. Let's start moving forwards. Because I need to I need to clear that camp. Work on early empire. Obviously we're going to get Magnus. Put him in Lisbon. Slinger can stay there. That is the end of the turn, and I'm going to end the video there. So thanks a lot for watching. I do hope you will enjoy this series of Civilization VI, and hopefully it'll be my first deity win. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.